We have added a few new widgets and features into our geolocation system and I want to walk you through so you know where to find them and how to use them. So basically after you have input your information in Data Navigator and you're prompted to uh, do the GIS location data retrieval, you will find um, the same thing as before. So you have your input postal code, for instance, and your country. And if you have added any cities, you have that as well. But on the right hand side, now you have a new country filter. So here you can actually select uh, a specific country and you will see what locations in your data set belong to that country. So that is uh, something new just to check that you have actually uh, put the correct information. And then you can just retrieve geocodes as before. Then it's very important uh, to use so the two letter country. And when it's done, you will see that um, you have all of the dots in the map. You have more information, obviously, of the output. You can click on a specific location, and on the right-hand side, you'll have information. Then you have a widget to show selected location only. This is also new, so you can see exactly where you have clicked. You can toggle between all of the locations and the selection only and use the country filter as well. So what you can do with the country filter is see that all of the locations that you input uh, in uh, Czech Republic, for example, are actually with the output of Czech Republic. So how do we do that? So we select the country, as you see here, Czech Republic, and then we see that there's a few dots that are not located exactly in the Czech Republic. So you have in the UK, in the Netherlands, and in Italy. So once we click in one of them, we just uh, close the country filter. And when we click in one of them, we see the different options on the right hand side. And also we can make this location data bigger and see the output country. So we want to add a, a rule that is telling us I want to see all of the country, all of the locations that are located in the wrong country. So country code is not CZ. And then we see that there's a lot of locations that are not located properly, but we want to be able to select them. So once we do that, we see that on the right hand side it changes. And we have different options. You can click on an option that is in the Czech Republic and use this place instead. Um, you can do that for every single one. You will see that the, the list starts to be smaller. And let's take another example. Uh, for example, here we see that none of the options is actually located in the input country we want. It's just that this is in the Netherlands, actually. So what you can do is go back and change the input postal code because it's probably there's probably a mistake. And then when that's done, you geocode it again, and then you save the location data. 